Oh yeah, I love Kleptomancy on Urgot. I think it's amazing. And yes, you can sell any of the items you get, which is awesome, which just means more bonus gold. You easily get over a thousand gold by the end of the game because of Kleptomancy. And the stat bonuses you get every so often, the mini potions of wrath and whatever, they're really, really nice. And they stack, so you can have a wrath, a sorcery, whatever. Right behind you, Blitz. I have to imagine they know we're here. Uh, missed opportunity. I don't know why the Blitz didn't walk up this way. I'm going to be late to lane. It would take too long to walk around. I need to just back and walk. I shouldn't miss anything. I will be late to lane, though. Yeah, the minions spawning 10 seconds sooner. That actually hurt me right there. Because the minions would be about here instead. If it was... Um, like, uh, before preseason started. They, they increased the time at which minions spawn. Oh my god, am I going to miss one of these? That's going to suck. I really don't want to be behind an XP. Being behind in CS isn't that big a deal. Being behind an XP is a big deal. Okay, good. I'll make it in time. That's good. And I won't even miss any. Awesome. Ow. That ability is going to be off cooldown in a second. Really? Wow, the range on that ability. That is longer range than my auto attack. I'm pretty sure. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. I do have a potion, though. But yeah, this is becoming a problem. He's doing a lot of damage. That ability, Electrocute hurts. Really use a gank. I can't believe Shivana managed to pick up a kill at this point. That's something that should never happen. That's right, I don't have my Q right now. I need to wait till I'm three. I need to wait for him to push it in, because I'm not going to be able to... His harass is too effective and too easy to get off. It's very difficult for me to make the situation come out my way. At least right now. I'm dead. Well, that sucked. I mean, he has Ignite. And there was a big wave. And I'm going to miss a lot of it. Ain't that a bitch. Yep, that Ignite. That was what did it. And that was a very good flash into E. You can leave now. Really wish you'd ganked earlier. When I had a bit more health. Oh, nice. That's good. He did get a kill out of that somehow. I don't know why Shivana was there. Yeah, it, energizing uh, Electrocute seems stronger. Because everybody's picking. It's very weird why they would make that ability stronger. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. He's able to burst me for over 200 health easily right now with Electrocute. But he has to burn a lot of mana for it, and I do have some armor. 
Damn it, I really was hoping to get some gold off of that. His clone has a lot of health. Wow, he's really low on health now. Huh. He's gone, he's gone through all of his potions. He's not going to stay. He's going to back. He's very low on health. If he makes a single mistake, I can probably kill him. Yep, he just needs to make a single mistake. So now we shove. I think he realized that if he stays and I hit six, he just instantly dies. Oh my god, he's staying. goes most of his life. And he's dead. And he's dead. That was it. He just needed to stay a little bit longer and he actually did it. Wow. He wait. I hit six and he's dead. Just as easy as that. The hubris. You silly monkey. You mind just leaving? Thank you. I'm sorry, Shivana, but no. Until you're six, you can't deal with me. Even if you are, if you don't have your ult ready, you can't deal with me. Alright. I feel a lot better now. Good. Uh... Let's get Tabby... And health. And another armor. I do want one more armor. Because I know that his Q shreds armor, but it's still helpful to get more armor. Because he, in the end, Wukong acts like a tanky assassin. Although if he goes full AD, he's just an assassin. And right now that's where he's going. You normally should get a lot of AD on Wukong. Because in the end, he bursts. And, it, and when he does his EQ into ult... And a squishy champion, if you're going all AD, will die before they come down from the knock. Oh yeah, he screwed himself over pretty bad. He's still well, he's doing well on farm. Wait, my Q didn't hit him. Doesn't matter, I'll just wait. But yeah, he fucked himself over pretty badly. Huh, thought he was going to use his clone. How did that not hit him? He actually managed to, to get out of the radius in time. Uh-oh, am I dead? Oh, yes I am. God damn it. Oh, it's unfortunate. I just couldn't get the damage to finish him off. But I do have teleport, so not the end of the world, but... That sucks, in the all-in, I managed to even use my E to cancel out the knockout from his ultimate, but he got the full duration of it on me. And although I got my ult on him, it wasn't enough to kill him. That really sucks. His ignite was back up, and his flash was back up. You need to leave. Oh no, what am I doing? Is he here? Huh, would you look at that. Oh well, not the end of the world. It sucks. It's not the end of the world and I will outscale him. Once I hit 13, I don't know if there's any champion in the game that outscales Urgot at 13. Urgot's level 13 is probably the strongest of any champion in the game.
So our Hari's doing well, our AD Carry's doing well, our support's doing well. I've got the worst score on the team, huh? And I'm still doing well, and I still have Teleport. One and two isn't good, but it's not bad either in this case. Because all I need to do is level up to scale. I don't even need money. If I level up and scale up, that's good enough. Yep, that trade is not even, but it's not terrible either. Yeah, those are the trades I need. I just need to pop my W and walk away when he jumps on me. It'll nullify a lot of the damage. Yes, he's out. And Wukong just killed himself. Don't let him get the kill. Come on. Gotcha. Hit him once. Thank you. Mine. Mine. <laughs> Mine. I needed that kill. All right, I've got a positive uh, even score. But the biggest, most important part is now I get to shove, and he once again, because he doesn't have teleport, gets screwed. Not taking teleport in top lane, man. It's not a smart thing to do when you're playing a squishy champion. It's not a smart thing to do in general, to be honest. When I did it on Zack, it only worked because I was able to stay in lane forever. So I'm taking this. This is going down one way or the other. And now I can leave. I don't need to leave, but I can. I need to be careful. If Wukong shows up, Shivana could be right behind him. Yeah, I don't trust that it's just Shivana. Because I can deal with just Shivana. Yeah, let's just back. And now, let's just back. That minion might have actually made it so my wave would be pushing out. Alright, let's get Phage. Kindle Gem. And... Wukong's there. Up, oh, J4 is there. You're dead. That dunk was totally a net. He should have dunked her, to be honest. Oh, that's good damage. Uh, oh my. That is a. That, they, these guys, they is dead. They is dead. Oh my god, they're gonna kill her too! I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh. Hold on, I got this. No, it was short. I think J4 had... No, he doesn't have it. Uh, it was just short. Just gonna get out of here. That's unfortunate. My ultimate was just short. It was... Oh, is that 10 pixels off or something? Mana. Delicious mana. Good mana. Uh -oh. oh, Cog's dead. Yeah, Kogma into Shivana and Wukong does not seem like a wise decision. Especially when our support's a Blitzcrank. Seems especially unwise. She ran that way. I've got my ult now. Yes, Wukong, you best be leaving. Hmm. 
he ain't going nowhere. You're getting eaten is what you're getting. You did not respect my teleport, you get eaten. Because all he needed to do was back away once I started that teleport, but for some reason he decided to farm between the waves. Uh, between the towers. It killed him. It's, it ensured he had no escape, because once I landed my Q, how can he outrun me if he doesn't have a flash? And he didn't. Oh, God. My team was doing really well. Good. He got that. I'm on my way. But he's gonna die. Well, never mind. I'm not on my way. My flask! If you're looking for your flask, you might be drunk. I'm unimpressed by that damage. And he needs to treat me with respect. After that last fight, he needs to treat me with respect. Oops. Uh, I got enough for Cleaver and I need to start working on these other armor items. Oh, I'd love to get Thorn Mail. Get Cleaver, I should go for Righteous Glory first though. Whoops, that was not what I meant to do. Alright, so I don't have TP. I'm not going to be able to make it to mid lane any remotely in time. Alright, so our team is still really fed and I've got the best score ever. My favorite. I will need to show how much I love that score after this game. Well, thank you, Dane Ruler. How you doing? Wait, did I not ult somebody? Hold on a second. Where did my... I ult. I clearly threw out my ultimate, but that was weird. Huh. Well, whatever. We won that fight. Not the most convincing victory, but we... Uh-oh. You need to keep running. He might be dead. He's probably dead. These two guys are uh, in the wrong position. Oh, what the hell? He actually got that knockup. Uh... Well, Ari's gonna die! But, can they actually do this? I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, they did dead it, though. Alright, so we won. That was a 5 for 4. Acceptable. Oh, what have I done? I bought two of these. I'm an idiot. Oops. Bye. God damn it. I'm an idiot. It's a 40% cooldown reduction and 15% ultimate hat. So my ultimate right now at rank 2, 48 second cooldown. A rank theory, it will be around 39 seconds, something like that. I love Ultimate Hat. I would love to murder you. And Wukong. That was a nice smite there. God, I would love to go in. Damn, Ari just wasted her ult. Alright, let's go kill Wukong. He should be definitely screwed. I got he juked it. Won't matter, he's still gonna die. Won't matter, you're still gonna burn. Oh, good enough. Yeah, Wukong burned everything to kill the Kog'Maw, I'm sure of that. 
Our Kogma keeps dying, damn it. We need to keep him alive. Yeah, no, you, you go for the vein. You obviously go for the vein. If the vein has... Oh... It, all, it doesn't matter. We're just going to take this now. I, I love how fast an Urgot destroys waves. Huh? <gasps> Works for me. Works for me. <laughs> he trades his life. His full the the full health Wukong traded his life for the almost dead J four. Works for me. It did stop our push, but come on. At that point, the push had already accomplished what it was seeking to do, which was kill a whole bunch of people and do some damage to this turret because it's nearly dead. And our J four is quite fed already, so he doesn't care about dying. He already knows he's done what he needs to do. God, is this actually going to be my first win in two days on stream? Will this actually be the one? Everyone on the team's kicking ass, or J4 especially. Our Kogma has lost his ass-kicking status because he's died too many times getting picked, but... I know a vein's in the area. Oh. And she's gone. <laughs> I like this Blitzcrank. Come on, use your ult. Gotcha. Which means you're getting feared and murdered. You're not killing me, buddy. You ain't killing me. It's not happening. I am way too tanky for your shit, Shivana. And I do way too much damage. Shivana's a fantastic duelist, but nobody beats Urgot in a one-on-one -on -one post-13. It's too much damage. Because it's the shot... Oh, yeah, we should probably... It's a good point. Uh, you bring up a solid argument... Yeah, no, that's... You're absolutely correct. That's exactly what the... I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Hmm. Nobody's coming? Oh my god! For Demacia's sake. Uh, no! What? Why didn't my ult? What? She was low enough! She was low enough! I pressed R! What the hell? I got her low enough, and then half a second later, she hits me with the final auto attack that kills me. But I got her low enough. My ultimate should have reeled her in. What the fuck? Suicide Dev is getting so old. Oh, I missed. Oh. Well, yeek. Is this guy stupid? Hmm? Oh. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Oh god, this is gonna suck. I'm so gonna die! Run! Run for your life! <laughs> yeah! Um... Hmm. Alright.
right. I. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like physical damage is a bigger threat from their team, so I will finish this first. Nice. I'll just wait for this. It won't be too long. That teleport was a bit ambitious. Because they were there were three of them that were really low. So I figured maybe I can get something with my Righteous Glory. But teleports increased times from last season. Um, it, it hurt there. It's a 4.5 second channel where it used to be a 3.5 second channel or something like that. So that extra one second really makes a difference. That one second was me not being able to catch up to the soda. Not saying it's unfair. It, I think the teleport was too powerful in, in seasons past. So I'm happy that they did that for teleport, but that is the reason why it didn't work. I'm not actually complaining about something that I believe is unbalanced. I'm, I, I'm complaining about something that is probably balanced. Where is it? Where's the Shivana? I want the Shivana. Is she here? I should go join my team. Or I'm gonna go kill this guy. Where is he going? Won't matter. Damn it. Hmm. Yeah, they need to respect Wukong's engage because the team is squishy other than me and J4. You're 400% more useful than Malzar, yeah. No, this is correct. This is correct. We just need a group as five. I was going top lane because I wanted to try and get a... Uh, I wanted to get a pick. I wanted to get a pick on the Shivana. Picking the Shivana would allow us to have control over the jungle. And she's probably the strongest frontliner. Oh, uh, what was that? What the fuck was... There was no possibility of that landing. Yeah, we need to be careful. Wukong could easily show up. We need side vision. We need to know where the Wukong is before he gets here. Yeah, we're not all five of us here. We need to get the fuck out. We have really good vision, thankfully. So we know where their team is. But yeah, we gotta keep Kogma alive. If Kogma stays alive, we win the fights by default. Oh no, what's J4 doing? Oh no, what's Blitz doing? It's okay. Nobody's dying. That's the key. We just don't want anyone dying. We're splitting top. I don't like that he's doing that alone. I don't like that we don't have vision. My ult should guarantee a kill sooner. Yeah, whatever. You guys do that. I'm pushing this. I'm pretty sure we could end the game, but... Huh. Did the Mal's AFK? I guess we win. Well, then. I guess we win. First win of the day! First win of the two days! This has been a ridiculous saga of unwinnable games. And finally, it happened. I'm I don't know how to I don't know how to re properly 
appreciate this moment. I don't know. Um, Ari did well. J4 did well. And Blitz did well. I'll give it to the J4, though. He was dominating just throughout the game, making plays all over the map. I mean, look at that score. That's an active jungler right there. I still can't believe the Shivana killed him first, but the Shivana just didn't have anywhere near the impact the J4 did. He earned that. He was the team's carry. Same with our, uh, our mid lane. Our mid lane did wonderfully as well. Our Kog'Maw couldn't help but die, which is unfortunate, but thankfully, the other carries on the team were all strong. I was fed, mid lane was fed, jungle is fed, and even with all of his deaths, he was fed too. He had three and a half items. His gold, our whole team had a lot of gold. The J4 was the richest to 15k, which is insane. Look at this. He, I don't know if he swapped at some point to start going damage, but yikes. This is disgusting. He had Titanic, um, a BF sword, and a Black Cleaver. I don't know what this BF sword was going to be. Probably a GA. I, I have to imagine that would have turned into a GA. But this is disgusting. Because that means his burst was just ridiculous. And the Wukong had such a bad laning phase. The laning phase did not go for him as, as well as it probably could have. Because he was doing a good job at first of harassing me. Um, with his burst, but it, then he disrespected my damage a couple of times, died for no reason, and, well, it didn't bode well for him. His uh, his decisions in team fights were very good. He was going for our Kog'Maw full bore and just blowing him up, and that's exactly what you expect a Wukong to do. The Wukong just simply focused with blind intent to go for the Kog'Ma. That last fight he didn't. And I, I kind of wonder if he would have gotten it if he did. Because I was focused entirely on him. I popped my Righteous Glory and I started run, putting myself in a position between him and Kogma. Um, and then when I saw him change paths, I just dived on top of him. Because he was the only person I was concerned about when it comes to Kogma. And I wanted Kogma to live. Kogma lives and we win the fight by default because his damage would do it. What is the damage, actually? Yeah, this is what I thought. Ari did the most. I was number two. And these two... Look at that, the J4 did so much damage. The Wukong also did a fair bit, but... Yeah, actually, you look at the numbers, man. The teams were very close. We just had a bit more tankiness on our team, so the fact that the damage numbers were close means we're winning. Because by default, we can absorb more damage than they can. So if we're dishing out similar amounts of damage, but we're tankier, we're going to...